Aries, welcome to your general reading. My name's Clive. This is a Sun Moon Rising reading. Please take the bits that resonate, leave the rest. Okay, so without further ado, let's see what's going on for the sign of Aries. What's going on for the sign of Aries? King of Wands, Judgment card. Eight of Cups, there's been a Three of Cups energy in the past, Empress, Knight of Cups, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Sun card, Eight of Wands. Well, there's been a pretty much stagnant situation. I'm getting, you know, in the past areas, you've perhaps felt frustrated about a situation. You perhaps wanted to reunite with somebody, but because of circumstances and relative situations, you, you know, it's been almost impossible. Every avenue you tried to explore on kind of getting came to a dead end. What I'm getting here is because I have the will of fortune, the universe was holding you back on purpose. It was actually doing you a favour. Okay. Because the universe felt here that due to circumstances, feelings, emotions, perhaps clouded vision, that you weren't ready. And this this connection, if it had been taken place earlier, would have probably been blown apart again because, you know, of the lack of being in the right frame of mind and being at peace with oneself. All right, but there was a big desire here. All right, the challenge here is now the judgment card, okay, is your efforts are now coming to fruition okay they're actually coming into the real world instead of just in your head and in your heart all right and now i'm kind of getting here that you have to take the leadership role because this is in your lap now the universe is handing the power over to you it's seen you're very much self-aware okay you're seeing your limitations all right but you are, some of you perhaps are in a situation where you're married, okay, or long-term connection, we'll say. And, you know, you want to leave that situation for whatever reason. You feel it's run its course because the underlying energy here is the eight of cups here. But what I'm getting most of all from this reading, whether you're married, they're married, or whether you're single or both singles, okay, what I'm getting here is... There was a period of stagnation. It was like a a standoff. Okay, nobody was willing to make that final move, that final push. And what I'm getting here now is there's all of a sudden there's a release of energy here, and somebody is willing to make that final push, which leads you to you know follow your heart's desire. Somebody here they definitely want to you know, be with you, okay, on a more serious level, all right, they, they kind of want up the game, all right, but, uh, you know, there is, there is happiness here, all right, I'm picking up here peaceful resolutions to your situation, and you've, there's discussions here on relocation for some, excuse me, relocations for some of you, and uh, generally, movement all right you finally deciding where your passions lie you've been trying to avoid conflict as much as you can you're very clear on how you communicate now i'm getting in the past here there was perhaps a lot of misinterpretation i'm just going to say lost in translation all right and what i'm getting here is a sudden movement Okay, it's like going from naught to 100 miles an hour. Perhaps you will feel a bit overwhelmed. All right, you may feel that the situation is kind of running away from you, but you're doing your best to keep up with it. Right, now with this Wheel of Fortune, it's kind of like be open to interpretation, be clear in your head, you know, on what you're saying. Okay, because there is the chance here of misunderstandings. It's like kind of say what you mean, mean what you say type energy. All right, but what I'm getting most of all is, you know, uh, you forging ahead in your life with a very, very different opinion to what you had one year ago, two years ago, even three years ago, you know, 
there's been a scenario for some of you here that's been going on for at least three years on getting all right and it's kind of your life is like being realigned energetically all right in the past on kind of getting there was a lot of abrasive nature a lot of abra abrasive communication it's it's like you've learned your lesson from the past here uh, it, it's it's more like the softly softly approach okay mm. but it's it's a question of being resolute on what you truly want it's, you know you've come a long way in fact I'm getting I'm getting here that you've actually been ready you know for a long time but you've just been sitting it's like you've had the engine running but you're not in gear Mm, interesting. Yeah, you want that ten of cups. You're looking for emotional commitment. You're you're kind of ready to give that emotional commitment now, after a long, long time. But you know your your options are open, and you know it's okay following your heart's desire. But the there's a bit of a challenge on putting plans into action. Okay, having the patience because you this you kind of won't be in control of everything. You know, this lies in some important decisions lie in other people's laps, the authorities if you're traveling, you know, relocating and things like that. But uh, this is all, I can see this is all going in the right direction for you. You know, once you figure out how to put your dreams and ambitions into reality after talking to somebody uh you know it's a question of the legalities of the situation okay perhaps there's property sales buying you know if there's a if there's a legal separation with a divorce or what it's i'm kind of getting enough you know it it will sort itself out a lot of it will kind of go in your favor but you know it, it will come with conditions you know, I'm, I'm getting at the moment there's a bit of in-house fighting going on. All right, it's a pretty stagnant situation. You're doing your best to, you know, renounce anything that's holding you back now because you feel you you you're growing. All right, but uh, there is a personal loss here. Okay, um, but what I'm getting is in time that will heal. It's like you're try it's like you're keeping a, a, an emotional and spiritual wound open by indecision and you you're realizing this what I'm getting here is the, is it's the situation can't heal because of the stagnation I'm kind of getting to a degree you have been resisting somebody's advances here okay and it's I'll be honest for some of you this this could go away uh, you could walk away from this okay and you know you, you're ready to face the confrontation and walk away from it because it's too much pressure for you and you know it's it's too restrictive for you but some of you i'm kind of getting you you're happy to go along with this and it all to work out either way areas i'm getting you on a pretty win-win situation you know there will be a period of recovery but uh you know we can leave a situation physically but it takes a lot of time to mentally emotionally and spiritually heal which is what I'm getting here, you know. But uh, in that sense, you're in a pretty win-win situation. You're unlocking a stagnant situation because, you know, both you and people concerned were afraid to make that move. Mm. Let's see. Get one more card on this. Yeah, there's there's endings and new beginnings, and it's all basically divinely timed. Actually, you know, you perhaps felt like you've been held held back in the past, but it was the universe doing it on purpose. It 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 wanted you to come to terms with the past, 
so that it enabled you to move forward, you know, without guilt or the blame game on kind of getting you, a lot of you have already gone through all that. And it wanted to give you the best possible chance of a, a, food, a, a brand new start, okay, with a clear conscience. Um, for that purpose, it's kind of held you back so that you could, it's, so it give, it's trying to give you time to heal, okay, and come to terms with the past. Hmm. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching.